Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a no contact love reading for those of you Tauruses who are currently in a no contact situation with your person. I'm going to take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you, what do they currently want with you, and then we'll see the outcome. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Okay. So Taurus, let's take a look at their current feelings for you. For those of you Tauruses, currently in a no-contact no situation with your person. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Taurus, please. Let's get three shuffles. What are this person's current feelings for Taurus? All right, here we go. All right, so in their current feelings for you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Hero Font. We also have the Six of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse, Two of Pentacles. And here we have the Magician in reverse. Okay. So this person is feeling pretty stressed out over the lack of communication that's currently happening between the two of you with the ace of swords in reverse um, they are very much in their head about it they're they're feeling very conflicted they're feeling very anxious because it kind of looks like they want to reach out to you but they are a little bit scared they're a little bit indecisive in regards to whether it would be a good idea to reach out to you or not. They're going back and forth in their mind about it. Should I, should I contact Taurus? Should I reach out to Taurus or should I not? What should I do? All right. It does look like this person feels a very strong soulmate connection with you. We do have the Six of Cups here. So there is a lot of deep emotion here that this person has for you. I do feel like this person has thought about marriage or they have thought about, you know, being in a committed relationship with you. They do see you as someone who's very... Um, they see you as someone who's very confident, someone who's very grounded, someone who knows their worth, someone who's very valuable, someone who brings a lot to the table. And again, I do feel like they want a relationship with you, with the Six of Cups and the Hierophant. They want a relationship. Um, but for whatever reason, I feel like this person is carrying a lot of fears and insecurities here with the Nine of Swords. They do see you as a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups in reverse. Um, there's that Nine of Wands, fears and insecurities. Um, it doesn't look like these fears and insecurities have anything to do with you. It looks like it has everything to do with their past and, you know, negative experiences that they went through in regards to relationships in the past. That they're still holding on to and they're projecting onto you. 
Yeah, it looks like this person has been holding back with the hangman from taking any action toward you. But it's because of a lack of confidence. They're not confident that things will work out in their favor. All right, I want to clarify. Let's see. We'll keep these cards. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about the... Um, actually, let me take them just in case they come out again. What can you tell me about the Nine of Swords and their current feelings for Taurus? Clarify the Nine of Swords and their current feelings for Taurus. So we have the Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, they're very indecisive here with the Two of Swords in regards to whether they should pursue you or whether they shouldn't pursue you. They can't make up their mind. can't make up their mind. Let me look at the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and their current feelings for Taurus. I am sensing a little bit of an inferi inferiority complex, if I can say it right, with this person. This person um, is striking me as someone who doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. Someone who feels inferior to you. So you might be someone who has like um, more money than they do or, you know, a better career than they do. Or you're just more established in some way than they are. Because I am getting an energy of them feeling like they're not good enough for you or to be with you. It's almost like they feel overshadowed by you in a way. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. In their current feelings for Taurus, we have the Emperor, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have, yeah, Strength in Reverse. You see, I told you, there's an inferiority complex with the Emperor and the Strength in Reverse. This person is um, carrying a lot of deep insecurities over themselves. You know, they they doubt themselves. They doubt their own capabilities. They doubt they doubt their own potential. You know, they they doubt their own power and strength. They don't feel like they're good enough with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this feels like an energy of what if Taurus is, what if Taurus um, later on thinks that I'm not good enough for them and abandons me? It's like this person has a fear of you. Um, seeing them as someone who's not good enough for you. Maybe you don't see them that way now, but they have a fear that eventually you'll see them as someone who's not good enough. Someone who's not someone who's not wealthy enough, you know, or they they don't have enough status, they don't have enough uh recognition. They don't have enough education. You know, it's like this person cares a lot about their image and how they're perceived by others, how they're viewed by others. And they care a lot about how you view them as well.
They don't want to be seen as inferior. They want to be seen as your equal. But they don't feel like you, they're your equal. For whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Hopefully this is making sense to you, Taurus. Because I don't know what this person is talking about. But for whatever reason, they, they don't feel like they're your equal. Maybe you have like property, because with the Hierophant, inheritance, inheritance, property, resources that they don't have. Or maybe you have a lot more potential than they, than they have and they, they can see that. Because you're, you're a lot more confident in, in your own self. You believe in yourself and, and they don't, they can't relate to that. So that makes them feel inferior, you know? I'm just describing the energy because I don't really know what's going on here, but it's, that's the energy, you know, of, of what this person is um, feeling. Okay, I'm done with their feelings. Let's take a look at what is it that this person wants with you currently. Yeah, what, what do they want with you or from you? Let's see. Let's see. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what does this person want with Taurus currently? What is this person wanting with Taurus currently? Here we go. What does this person want with Taurus? So we do have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more. What does this person want with Taurus? Well, they want... Oh, yeah. Two of Cups. Okay. Well, they want communication. Um, three of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups. They want communication. They want you to, to get on the same page with each other. Or they want to get on the same page with you. Um, they want to work things out with you. They want to reestablish uh, a connection with you, a relationship with you. They do see you as their soulmate. They do see you as the right person for them, the, the person that they want to ultimately be with long term. So they want things to just um, work out between the two of you, three of pentacles in reverse. They want things to just work out. They want they want to be um, they want to be a team. They want to be a team. They want you to to agree with each other. To agree with each other. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. They want you to, to agree with each other. Hmm. Okay. They, yeah, it's, it's like they just want to get on the same page with you. Like they don't want to fight with you or argue with you or have conflict with you. They just want peace and harmony and, you know, um, uh, agreement between the two of you. And they want this love relationship. They want this love connection because they do have really strong feelings for you. Hmm. I want to look at you real quick, Taurus. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is Taurus's current energy towards this person, please. What is Taurus's current energy towards this person? Um, two more shuffles. All right.
this Taurus is current energy towards this person. So we have, oh, well, look at that. Two of cups in reverse on your side. Oh, so you two are not on the same page with each other. Um, that's obvious right off the bat. Two of cups in reverse and the two of cups upright. There's absolutely no synchronicity here between the two of you. What is Taurus's current energy towards this person? Five of Pentacles in reverse, and we also have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's your current energy. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords to the Empress in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, this person makes you feel insecure. You don't like it. You don't like it. Mm, 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 mm. You don't trust this person, King of Swords, Empress in reverse. You don't trust this person, and this person makes you feel like you're not in a secure relationship. You're not in a safe relationship. You're not protected, you know? You're not protected, you're not supported. You're not even truly loved with the Empress in reverse. You're not loved. You don't feel loved. You don't feel like this person has your best interests at heart. You feel like this person is selfish. Let me look at your feelings. Um, Spirit, what are Taurus's feelings for this person? What are Taurus's feelings? Um, we do have the Emperor. The Emperor with the Empress in reverse. Once again, here we have and the Emperor and the Empress. This is a true match, a true pair except that one is upright and the other's in reverse. So once again, there's no synchronicity here between you and this person. You two are not on the same page with each other. There's a huge disconnect. Yeah, this is your feeling. So you, you feel like this person is arrogant. You feel like this person is all about themselves. You, you feel like this person, you know, has a huge ego and, you know, they're controlling and, 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 and they're just trying to control you. You feel like they're just trying to control you or manipulate you. You feel like this person is not about, you know, equal give and take. You feel like this person is all about, you know, ab all about them. They're not about equality. They're not about working things out. It's just, it's just an act. You feel like this person that is an actor or, is, or an actress? It looks like you want something serious with the Ace of Pentacles. You want a serious commitment. You want a serious relationship. But you feel like this person is um, underhanded. You feel like this person is deceptive. Oh, okay. Well, because they have the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, oh, I see. Emperor, Strength in Reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you feel like this person keeps their options open. You feel like they're a player. And you just don't, you don't, you don't have time for it. You know, you, you, you've lost your tolerance with the King of Swords. I want to clarify the King of Swords. Spirit, what can you tell me about the King of Swords connected to Taurus's... Um, energy, King of Swords to the Empress in reverse.
I feel like you're blocking this person because you feel like they're not to be trusted. Um, Nine of Wands, uh oh, that's not nice. Nine of Wands to the Empress in reverse. You see, that's a problem. That's a big problem. You, you can't be with someone who, who does this, you know? This is someone who is making you doubt your own worth, you know, your own self-worth, your own value. I feel like this is what they were doing. Yeah, because it does look like you are currently turning things around in your favor. I feel like you're currently um, stepping back into your power, but it does look like this person planted the seed of doubt in your energy and you know in your mind in regards to your own personal value, your own personal worth. That's not nice. Yeah, they made you feel like less important or unimportant. They made you feel unimportant. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, that's a big no, no. All right. Anything else about this? Um... Well, hold on. I'm done with that. Let me look at, these are your feelings. Anything else about Taurus's current feelings for this person? Yeah, this person, it, it kind of looks like this is someone who's non-committal with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It, it kind of looks also like you were patient with this person. You were trying to be understanding and, and patient with them, but especially with the Nine of Wands also, but it doesn't look like this person is changing. And I feel like you're recognizing that they're not changing or that they haven't changed and, and, and you're blocking, you're blocking access. You're, you're blocking this person's access to you. But it looks like they really want to contact you and communicate with you, but they are, um, they are nervous to do that because they're not sure if you'll reject them or not. What else can you tell me about Taurus' current feelings for this person? Um, five of Swords, you don't trust them. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there may have been a third party situation that you discovered. about this person and a third party situation that you discovered um, this person was um, involved in. And you know, you're, you're not about, you just don't like that. Yeah, you're not looking for a, a, a hookup basically. You're not looking for a casual hookup or you're not looking for a casual, you know, uh, no strings attached type of relationship. It looks like you want some something serious, a serious commitment. So um, in your feelings, you feel like this person is someone that you need to um, be careful with someone who you need to protect yourself from and someone who you can't trust. Yeah, you have a very negative outlook on them. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I'm done here. I kind of look, look at the King of Swords a little bit. Tell me about this King of Swords. Anything else about the King of Swords to the Empress? Um, six of Wands in reverse, same message, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you just don't see um, 
a, a relationship happening between you and this person. You feel like there's too much red tape. There's too much red tape. There's too many red flags. There's too many... Um, there's too much of a, a like a bad rep, a, a bad reputation that this person has with you, and it doesn't look like you can get past it, especially because you don't see this person making any changes or or proving themselves to you in any way. You know that they've changed. Hmm. All right. Let's, let me go back to this person. So I looked at their feelings and what they want with you. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen. Moving forward. Hmm. Curious about this energy a little bit. Emperor, Strength, and Reverse, Seven of Cups. Yeah, what can you tell me about that energy spirit? Is there anything else there? Oh, okay. That was clarifying this here. Okay. Tell me about that Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. In Reverse. This person is weird. They're weird because they're showing up with the Hierophant and the Six of Cups, which is all about establishing a long-term committed relationship with your soulmate. Committed relationship with your soulmate. What is there to think about? <laughs> that's, what I don't, that's why I'm saying they're weird because I don't understand what are they confused about. That's that's my thing. Like, I mean, it couldn't be more straightforward. What what this person could have with you, you know. It's, it, it's, it couldn't be more clear. So, what's the confusion about? Yeah, what is? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. This person's confusing me. I'm confused. What's the confusion here with the Seven of Cups? And then they have the Two of Cups, which again represents that they love you, that they have, feel like you're the one for them. Oh, the star in reverse. Okay, so this person just has a very pessimistic um, outlook on, on everything, apparently, because it is connected to the Emperor. So this is this is their personality basically. It's this has nothing to do with you. This is just how they are as a, as a person. They they they're constantly expecting the worst, anticipating the worst. They don't they don't have any faith. Like they don't have any faith in anything. Yeah, it's like this person feels like everyone is deceiving them. Everyone is manipulating them. No one has their best interests at heart. They don't believe anything. They don't have faith in anything or in anyone. You know, they're connected to the strength card in reverse. So they could have issues with their father. There could be father issues or it could also be mother issues. Um, it kind of looks like this person felt very um, unappreciated and and undervalued in their childhood, in their with their parents, or with a specific parent, and also very criticized. This person felt very very criticized by by someone from their childhood, and they they are carrying that that wound. Someone made them feel some someone made this person feel like they weren't good enough for anything in in life in general. 
and they're having a hard time overcoming though you know that energy that was put upon them that they got hit with i, I almost feel like crying i am feeling i'm feeling a, an energy of like crying like sadness yeah it's this this almost feels like the energy of someone who just wants someone to be proud of them you know like that's that's all they want they just want to hear from their from their family or from their i don't know their siblings or their mother or father they just want to hear and know that someone is proud of them instead of constantly be, being being in, instead of constantly receiving criticism over and over again for for everything they do But of course, this doesn't justify their behavior with you. I'm just kind of, you know, channeling um, what's going on with this person deep down inside. And my chest is like, like I'm losing breath because I can feel the energy of like crying. My, my chest feels heavy. All right, what's gonna happen? Um, Moving forward between Taurus and this person. Oh, I never clarified this. Oh, yeah, I did. I did clarify the star in reverse. Um, I, I was clarifying the seven of cups, which is confusion. Yeah, this person just, they confuse themselves. You know, there's nothing that you're doing to confuse them. You know, it's just that they are constantly second guessing themselves. They're constantly um, carrying this pessimistic attitude over over everything this pessimistic outlook over everything it's like they're expecting doom you know like it's just a matter of time for everything to you know burn to the ground that's what they're thinking in their head it's just a matter of time you know Nothing has ever worked for me before in my in my past, so why would this work out? Why would this relationship with Taurus be any different? Oh brother. Oh Lord. You know, I don't know what to say about that. This person needs help, obviously. All right, what's going to happen between Taurus and this person moving forward, Spirit, please? Um, is this person going to reach out? Is, are they going to take action? Will there be any type of reconciliation here? What's going to be happening? So we have the Two of Wands in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more what's going to happen between them moving forward. Queen of Pentacles, uh oh, Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah, this person is just way too much like um, in their feminine energy. It's, it's unbalanced. They're, they're heavily in their feminine energy, um, at least moving forward, which means that it's going to be stagnant. I don't see this person really taking action. I don't see them communicating. I see them more in an energy of sulking, basically. Um, with the Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's just uh, overall energy of sulking. You know, Definitely missing you with the Queen of Cups. Definitely still, you know, emotionally attached to you and emotionally connected to you. Um, but it just looks like they're struggling with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're struggling in in ways that are, or in 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 things that are not just this relationship, you know? 
It's not just this relationship. This person's struggling in in other in, in multiple areas of their life, you know? So everything has accumulated for this person and it kind of looks like they're just going to shut down basically uh, moving forward. I don't know how long, but at least in the immediate, in the immediate future, um, I do see them shutting down as of right now. Okay. So Taurus, I hope this reading helped in some way. I hope it, um, gave clarity. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.